Okay, so I'm going to show you some exercises now to work on your alternate picking. Um, I guess before I do that, I just want to mention something. So flat picking is a very notey style. Lots of kind of rapid fire notes, generally speaking. And that's because the guitar is quieter than the other string band instruments. You know, banjo, fiddle, mandolin, dobro, all those things. Um, so we as guitar players, we as flat pickers, wind up playing streams of notes because they usually cut through and have more impact in that context than sustained notes. So if you're playing electric guitar and you got an amp, like you can just whir, you can wail on it and really let it go, but we don't have that luxury. So we wind up playing, you know, a steady stream of notes. Um, now, that's less of an issue when you're playing by yourself or with just one or two other musicians. Um, but it's something to, to make note of when you're playing with other people. So if you are going to be playing all these streams of notes, again, it's really important to get in this habit of, of noticing tension. Because if you, if you tense up, um, the notes kind of won't have the desired quality. It's really easy to tense up, especially if you feel like you need to, you know, play really loud or you're not being heard. It's so hard to resist that. Um, but, uh, and it's something that I absolutely, to this day, struggle with. If I'm in an environment where I feel like the guitar is quiet, I'll play really hard. And it's not, it's not actually a good habit, it's a bad habit. And it's, very, it's a very easy habit to fall into. So, so I guess while you're, while you're learning this and you're developing your own habits, go ahead and kind of take the opportunity to always try and notice any tension that's creeping in, especially if you're playing in a loud environment. Um, you know, you want the people you're playing with ideally to kind of quiet down. If you're going to play a guitar melody and you're playing with a string band, they should actually, and you can tell them, you can show them this video if they're disagreeing. Um, Critter says you need to quiet down. It's true. Like everybody should quiet down a little bit when the guitar is playing rather than you kind of tensing up and trying to really fight to get all the notes out. So kind of st try and stay relaxed, notice your tension, and just let your, let your flow happen. Okay, so all of that said now, let's talk about some exercises that we can do to start noticing flow. Um, so we're going to do um, sort of what we just did. Um, we're going to do an exercise where we're going to play eight notes per string. Um, you know, essentially eighth notes, a measure of eighth notes, like um, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, and then we're going to change to the next string. So, so we're going to practice playing that on each string, um, but doing one measure and then changing to the next string. So. Uh, we can start on a C major chord. C is always a great chord for this sort of thing. But if your hands are getting tired of C, you can play another one. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm going to grab C, and so I'm just going to play a measure of notes here on C. Um, so let's get the metronome going. Okay, so our first exercise is going to be just playing alternating uh, eighth notes, you know, down and up on a string. We're going to play one measure of eighth notes on a string, and then we're going to go to the next string. We're going to change strings. So we're going to experience this on all six strings because it'll feel a little bit different to your hand to do it on all six strings. Um, and I want you to go ahead and grab a chord with your left hand. So, so again, you can practice playing that chord. You can use this as an opportunity. Uh, it's like an invitation to notice if you're playing that chord cleanly enough. So um, here we go. We'll start on the sixth string, play uh, eighth notes, eight eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and then switch strings and then same thing. Go all the way down and, and uh, or all the way up and back down. So here we go. One, two, three, four. tension in your body. 
It might be in your hands, it might be in your arms, it might even be in your legs, in your feet, your ankles, wherever it is, just see if you can notice it. Cool. So that's it. Now, as with all exercises, remember you can gamify it. So, so try and do at least five cycles in a row, cleanly and without any stumbles. And if you mess up, you can start over. So that's a game with, that you're playing with and against yourself. And you can do it. You can beat that game. So kind of get yourself to a point where it's going to be a little bit of a challenge when you start out. So that might mean raising the tempo ever so slightly. And, but get it to where you're going to have to grow just a touch to be able to do it and then challenge yourself, then throw down the gauntlet for yourself. Can you have that consistency? Once you got that down, do half as many on each string. So we'll do four on a string now. One, two, three, four. Again, see if you notice that sense of flow when you're doing this. So it's not just each single note. See if you can have a sense of the bigger rhythmic picture, the bigger sense of rhythmic flow. It's not that each note matters. Da 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 da. Don't think of it like that. If you can, notice the bigger thing. Ba da ba ba ba. That's how you're going to start feeling that sense of flow. Is if every single note isn't something that you feel like you have to micromanage. That's kind of what I mean when I'm talking about flow. See if you can put even more together. Da, da, ba. Mm. And you can do two notes on a string. I have to start over my count right there. so on. Okay, so remember, this is like a great way for you to practice this stuff. You can gamify it. You want to push yourself just a little bit, but not too much, but enough so you're going to grow a little bit. And this can also be a good way to warm up, to warm up your hands, kind of when you first get the guitar out of the case, a way to sort of calibrate yourself. Um, I feel like if you're going to do that, you don't need to hold yourself to that as high a standard when you're first starting out because sometimes it takes a minute for you to warm up and need to get for you to get that accuracy. But this can kind of get your hand moving, your muscles flowing and all of that. And, um, and we're going to have a tune now. Next I'm going to show you a tune that's going to that's going to um, rely on alternate picking kind of all throughout. So this is this is just going to be good uh, training for that in advance. So enjoy, get in there, stay relaxed, have fun with it and I'll show you a tune called Red Wing coming right up.